As Ohio struggles to get more eligible residents a first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, the state is now administering those Pfizer booster shots for those who are eligible. We're joined this evening live by Wood County Health Department Commissioner and V Project partner Ben Robeson. Thanks so much for spending some time with us tonight. Ben, why are these booster shots needed and why are they so important? I, I have heard it said that we will not booster shot our way out of this pandemic. Well, the reason that booster shots are being recommended is that we're seeing a decrease in the level of protection that the vaccines are providing over time to mild and moderate disease. So in other words, this is going to help to increase the likelihood that a person, if they encounter COVID in the, in the general population, will be able to fight it off. Um, these, uh, these boosters, as you noted, are for individuals who've completed the Pfizer vaccine at this point. Uh, if you've received the Johnson Johnson or Moderna vaccines, uh, there is not a booster recommended at this point, and the Pfizer vaccine is not something you should go out and seek. So healthy people, young healthy people, are going to be coming up on their six-month time limit, I guess, which is when it's suggested that you get the booster, but they are not currently eligible. Is that correct? Who is eligible, Ben? So there are four groups that we are thinking about in terms of eligibility. So the first group that, that, we, that should get a, a dose are those who are 65 years old and older, or if they uh, live in a nursing home and are 18 years old or older. Um, the other group that, that really should get a dose are those who are 50 to 64 years of age who have underlying health conditions. Um, and there are two groups who could get a dose if they so choose. They are 18 to 49 year olds uh, who have underlying health conditions or are 18 to 49 year olds who have certain occupational risks uh, who may, be at, who, who may uh, encounter COVID more often. So if you are 18 to 64 years old and you have that occupational risk, you may wanna to talk to your healthcare provider. Same thing as if you're 18 to 49 have an underlying condition, talk to your healthcare provider about whether you should receive a booster. Uh, and then there are plenty of opportunities to do that throughout the Northwest region. Wood County Health Commissioner Ben Robison talking to us right now about uh, these booster shots that are now available in Wood County. Now, what if people don't want to go to the health department? They want to conveniently go to their local Kroger or CVS or something. Are most pharmacies uh, providing the boosters right now? Yeah, any place that's offering the Pfizer dose uh, can provide you the same dose, whether it's for a first dose, a second dose, or, or a booster dose. Uh, so any provider that we have is certainly uh, able to provide this to you. Uh, the, the health department is going to be releasing our schedule uh, later on this week on Friday for the whole month of October. And so we hope that if you haven't yet been able to schedule a booster or get your booster, that we'll be able to provide that to you as, as an option so that uh, everyone who uh, needs to receive a booster and is interested in doing so will have access to those vaccines. And Ben, lastly, what about supply? How's that looking right now? I know it was a big issue with the original vaccine. Yeah, um, the uh, the supply is plenty. Uh, it, there's plenty of supply throughout the area. Um, originally, when we were rolling this out, we were still ramping up production. And so, as you know, we had to roll through the groups in particular because only certain groups could be served. But now that we uh, have gotten through that process, there's plenty of supply available. We don't anticipate any uh, shortage of, of vaccine. Uh, and so as long as the, the clinic has enough supply for that particular day and they're within their capacity, uh, people can certainly be served. So if you find out that, that one of your locations doesn't have a vaccine that day, it's probably that they ran out of appointments. It's not that they ran out of vaccines. And we'll be sure to update everyone on when you guys release those dates and times. Thank you so much, Wood County Health Commissioner Ben Robison tonight, also V Project partner. We appreciate your time.